All right, as far as this lesson is uh, going into wisdom and uh, how it's important, why it's important, why we need it. Because if you look at the average Jake in the world, they don't care about using any type of wisdom at all. It's all about mollies, uh, uh, fat doll, laced weed. Uh, there's... They got a certain day for these, uh, it, it'd be like in candy wrappers. I don't know, but it, the weed that they put in it is, is more potent now than ever. Making these jakes as dumb as hell. But, however, wisdom is what's going to be your stability in that time. It mentions that in the book of Isaiah 33. And verse 6, I believe. We're about to head over there. Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of thy times. And the strength of salvation, the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. So, wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of thy time. So why does it say in Isaiah... Many shall run to and fro. Because they don't have that wisdom. And they're not stable. So they're going to be looking for answers. That's why it says, Go down to thy monthly prognosticators. In Isaiah chapter 47. I'll go to there real quick. This is Isaiah. Chapter 47. In verse 13, thou art wearied. Well, I'll start with verse 11. Isaiah 47 11. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand down with thine enchantments. And with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so, be thou shalt be able to profit. If so, be thou best prevail. So he's being sarcastic. Yeah, you know, all those idols and tarot card reading and stuff like y'all was getting to. Yeah, stay with that. You know, maybe you'll be able to win. But the answer is no, they won't be able to. Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Why are people going to those things? Because they're going to be looking for answers. Why? Because they don't got their wisdom. They don't got the wisdom. They don't got their, their oil. So they're running, looking for anything, any answers. Tarot card reading, psychics, mediums. Stargazers, somebody tell me something. But those who got the wisdom of knowledge, they're going to be standing firm. Like cedar trees. And people are going to be wondering, and that day, hey, hey, give us some of your oil. We're like, nah, I, I, I ain't trying to teach you a breakdown of Daniel, uh, the 12th chapter, or Revelations chapter 9. When all hell is breaking loose, I don't got time for that. Time is down. And the thing is, we've been granted a lot of mercy. As much as we want to be out of here, you should be lucky that a lot of you brothers are, that mercy period is extended for you to get right. When I say shit is about to get hectic and get real and get loose, your everyday things that you take for granted. Being able to go to work, being able to come back from work, to get your car fixed if it needs to get fixed, your power is out, DTE is coming, you know, it might be late, that's for uh, the brothers who are uh, in Detroit, that's the electric company, for those who are outside, that's when your electric company, when shit gets, hits the fan, your trash isn't getting picked up. Dead bodies is not getting picked up. 
if a power line, somebody runs into a power line pole or a transformer uh, gets taken down for whatever reason or a thunderstorm knocks them down, the electricians are not coming to restore it because society would have collapsed. So it, you'll have to go somewhere else to get some le electricity because nobody's coming to restore it. It'll, they'll have so much chaos going on. That's why people go to be like pilgrims in that day. You know, they persecuted one city, flee to the next. We're going to be all over this place. People don't understand how much of a burden it's going to be in that day to not have this truth. Oh, women, oh, women, oh, they're going to need a bed in that day, right? right? Matter of fact, right now they need bed. They need bed. That whole, I remember growing up, it was all that Destiny's Child, TLC. They was going through that, uh, I don't want no scrub, I don't need no bed. Can you pay my bills? If a woman is going to need, a, a woman needs a bed to get protection from other men that's trying to kill her. Women need help. For a, 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 a bed's guidance, stability. What does Hosea 4 and 6 say? My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because I reject, rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. And we reject it constantly. That's why it is so important to get it. Don't take any of this for granted. This is Proverbs 15 and verse 28. The heart of the righteous study to answer, but the mouth of the wicked pour out evil things. Say a stupid, dumb stuff, ignorant stuff. Oh, we got 15 more years, 20 more years. What are you basing that off of? Are you actually looking at the times? that we're in right now and you're saying huh you know what this prophecy gonna happen that prophecy gonna happen all this has happened so uh, about 15 more years how are you coming up you just throwing numbers out the, out of thin air you try to put off the day of the heavenly father coming cause a lot of, really a lot of Jake don't even want him to come they're fine with just you know living their life you know, get their pension, retiring, going on vacation, and uh, going to a Christian church on Sundays, and being in this system, the Matrix. But it's so hard to do it nowadays. Because nowadays, the economy is getting bad. So it's hard to live in this Matrix when the windows is closed. You can't look out and look for happiness and and something to uplift you because everything is is bad. Shit is really seriously bad out here. The people are are losing their jobs, getting evicted, got evictions on your uh, on your record. You can't even get another job or another place. This economy is failing. You got uh undocumented uh immigrants coming in at, by the boatload you know this presidential uh, election is uh, a big become a big giant uh, fiasco and now you have uh, the people who are hardcore Trump supporters and then you are people who are hardcore Kamala Harris supporters then you got people who are not necessarily Kamala Harris supporters. They're just hardcore anti-Trump supporters. Man, things is turning up. Now is not the time to turn back. First Timothy 2 and 15 says, Study show thyself approved. This is the most high. You are supposed to be in these words and the scriptures, submerging yourself in this water. This is the real baptism. Be submerged in this water, which is the truth. 
On that note, I hope this lesson has been edifying. I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Shib Yahweh Shai by Shib Kakwadash. Double eyes to Elder G. Bashu Well. Peace, Aitasis, and Shalom.